Hi everybody, it's Chris and welcome back to something else Amiga related. Uh, we got the Titanic here and I'll go over what that is in a second. About a week or so ago from this day, I bought myself a video toaster 4000 on the old e-booger. Whenever you're working with electronics, be sure to put your anti-static bracelet on your body. There we go. I wrap it around my ankle because I don't wear any shoes. So this was the Video Toaster 4000. It's in really good condition and I haven't tested it yet, but it looks pretty good to me. I'm gonna put it in the 4000 because the Toaster 2000 doesn't fit because there's some magic going on with the cutout here and some other stuff where it just won't fit without hacking your case to death. Which led me to my next thing. Upon purchasing this, the seller, sent me an email and asked if I was me and I said yep and uh, long story short he has an Amiga 2000 board that looks like it just left the Titanic and I told him I said if it's super screwed up I don't know if I can fix it but I'll give it a whirl as long as you let me do a video on it so here is the beginning of that video um, he sent me a couple other goodies in the box in the box of packing peanuts and stuff I don't know what it is. This is, yep, yep, yep. Oh man, I just broke my glasses. Where do you get your glasses, Chris? At the dollar store. Okay, this is a PC uh, serial card. This is not an Amiga product. Also was this, this is heavy. This is a, Oh, ooh, I know what this is. This is a SideQuest 44. Takes those big old, or it could be a Bernoulli. I read the sticker, it would help. SideQuest 44, I don't have any cartridges for it, but I'm gonna get some. Uh, she's a little rusty and a little crusty. Check this out. So as you can see here, it just has a little bit of rust. And these look like they were dredged out of the mud and it's been sitting in the dirt for, oh, its whole life. So much so that the metal has totally wore off. This is normally black, white, and yellow. They're gone. Uh, continuing on the ports here through serial, disk drive parallel, and the RGB. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, she's been baked over. There is green crap growing across all of the top. Whoops. Green crap growing across all of the top of the video slot. Peel this Agnes off. Now right here, whoops. Now right here it doesn't look so bad. You're like, no, that's not bad at all. But when you go down to the barf land, you can see all of this is just, oh, it's up to here. All of this is just splatter city. I have seen some bad battery damage. But never over to where here, you know, it's always like right here, maybe the socket, socket's gone. It's been sanded on, we're down to the ground plane, the pins are still in for the battery. That's fine. We got busted traces all through resistor packs from the ROM. This thing's got more uh, holes in it and Swiss cheese. Mainly ground plane etched all through here. This one's going to be a lot of fun. On the bottom, this is where the juice comes in. As you can see here just a little bit of battery damage and you know that's great all this is the RTC over here here's your battery points it was just cut out you can see the solder still in there great continuing on the dip fest looks like she was just soaked in the old water all the way through the EMI uh, filter caps and all the goodness that makes it what it is uh, yeah, so I'm not going to fire this one up pre-run because it doesn't work. We know it doesn't work. Already talked about it. And what are we going to do? Well, we're going to try and resurrect the dead here. You always heard about people wanting to raise the Titanic. Well, that's what that's what we're going to do. It most likely has Pico fuses that are gone. It's had a couple capacitors replaced. These are not showies. It's got half... Uh, Rubicons, which are a factory Commodore cap. Uh, the blue showies are a factory Commodore cap. 
These black ones are not. They are usually aftermarket no-namers. So they're going to have to come out. Uh, the Agnes is in 8372A. It's got a mark on it like something got... It's Oh, the Agnes is cracked. Okay. So we're going to have to dive deep into this puppy. No better time than the present. What I'm going to do is not bore you with that. I'm going to get the old pack of Dollar Store because, you know, I like the Dollar Store for supplies. That, I'm going to need some scrubbing stuff, a fiberglass pen, many things. Uh, get my wife's toothbrush here. Always keep a spare because you never know. So my first yeah, is going to be the battery. Yes, these are beer pajamas. I know this is not the right thing to do. But I'm just going to go like this. I just want to see how this board's been treated. It's been sanded, so somebody was in here screwing around with it, checking on the ground planes here. Yep, not too bad. Now what I'm going to do with this is neutralize the acid. Vinegar or something. Something that is an acid, but is not going to like hurt anything else. Then we're going to wash the board with a spritzer of IPA. It's going to need some serious attention. So let me take a couple hours several wobble pops later, I think I only have two left, and uh, get this pseudo cleaned up. Some chips removed and just see what we got. Right now it is 4.34 p.m. according to the Omnibot clock. What a difference a little bit of cleaning makes. All the wet, all the goop is out. This is going to take several cleanings. This is just the initial alcohol bath after the D acidation neutralization is that a word i'm using it oh i got fiberglass in my six o'clock this is your fiberglass pen full this is the one that i just big difference here then i hit it with electromotive parts cleaner this is for live powered equipment this is a non-conducting very smelly electric cleaner Think of it as deoxit on crack, and it smells horrible. I mean, one spritz of this, and my wife's wondering, what in the hell are you doing downstairs? Uh, it's non-flammable, non-conductive. It's got some French. Limpador de Parties Electronics. So there's a party for electronics in each can. Um, it's made by CRC. It's called Electromotive Electric Parts Cleaner. This is for my heavy-duty applications. And, you know, use the old toothbrush, scrub her down, hit it with the apple cider vinegar. Yeah, that's all I had in vinegar, apple cider. It's from Chicken Wings. It's okay. Took the, uh, stops the continuation of any Varda acid. Even though the vinegar itself is an acid, it kind of does some math, and there's some science involved. And then you wash it down with this. This is my second bottle. And that's halfway gone, so I have to take a run to the store and uh, yeah, pick up a couple more bottles of that. But we're getting close to a test fire, and then we're going to do some continuity tracing. I can tell you right now, it is freaking gone. So I was doing some beep beeps from the CPU pins to the ROM, because that's where the init is, that's where the clocks come in, and all of your basic startup functions. They're not there. Like, some of them are, most of them are not. I haven't even tested it, because I don't feel it's safe enough to even warrant a test. It will do nothing but make something hot, possibly pop a CIA, uh, Gary Paul Denise, 68,000, Agnes, who knows. But this board has been delivered to me as non-working, so it's not like I'm worried about breaking it, because it's already broke. 7 o'clock. So, it's, uh... Cleaned up a lot. You can see some shine here a little bit. Right now I'm going to remove the audio sockets. They don't make it like that anymore. That's two positives. Now let's see if we can get this ground plane off. One SS Titanic. It's beautiful. Look at that. It's a high quality part there. 
And just like that, with a little bit of braid and a lot of solder sucked out of that bad boy, we have three really bad, we have three really bad jacks. The video, the uh, audio, and the left, right audio, left audio, and the video. These are useless, but the holes came out nice and clean. You can see right, right there, they're all good. The vias are good. So here's the top side. You can see they're still crusty. I'm gonna useless. So there's the top side now cleaned and looking a hell of a lot better. You can see I've gotten some of the rust. This one's turned out really good. The disk drive port still looks like crap. But it's 1030. Get the ports all cleaned up. Top, bottom, inside. We got the Amiga Kit ATX power supply converter which is this thing. It plugs in here. We take this, we move it to the board this way. We take J300 that is apparently already set for external. We turn the power supply on. We hit the button and see what the hell happens. Look at the screen. Kickstart 1.3 68,000 8372A Agnes This has been played with before because it's got all white jumpers minus one or two That's not working as I knew it wasn't going to work But we're getting a white screen That either means the CPU is missing in action It's not getting a nit it's not getting an init signal from the ROM. The clocks never go low because, or it never goes low and then high for the reset bus because it doesn't exist. So I fired up the old Sprint layout viewer here and I'm gonna start going, I have pin one highlighted but I figured I'd give it a shot first. So I know that's where I'm gonna start at. Start on the ROM side to the CPU side. I get myself a beep beep tester. I put it on the old beep beep. That's continuity to you lay, lay to the lay person. When you touch stuff, makes a beep. The idea is you want to go on here and find that you need to trace a circuit. So the best way to do that, ouch, is to put metal into your finger. Not. We're going to use the Gennard IC extractor. Link in the description below. Go ahead and suck out the ROM here. Now. A lot of people uh, commented before about this tool and saying that it slips and you can scratch your ROM or your Agnes or your Paul or whatever you're pulling out. When I put this in, I don't just blindly grab it and squeeze. I kind of give it the old touch to make sure A, I'm underneath the chip and not the socket and then give it a squeeze and it'll come right out. If you just blindly grab it, it can slip and you're not going to be grabbing the chip, you're going to be grabbing the uh, socket. So as long as you're on the chip, just squeeze and it'll grab underneath and pull right up. Now, what I'm doing here with the continuity tester, which doesn't need to be on screen, is on my window and the other computer, I have uh, pin 1 of this ROM highlighted. Pin 1 also goes to this point here. But oh no! It's not making it. I'm, oh, there it goes. Okay, hear that? So that's one. But it has three destinations. So I know it's making it to the center. Does the center make it to the side? Yes, it does. Now the center pin also goes to this pin right here. So that's one done. It was a pin over here. So that is number one done, and then I continue. That's fun. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to A, continue on this, and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So this is an A2000 motherboard. I was literally on this pin here. You can see the mouse. You can probably see this pink line blinking. Well, that's the trace. So I basically, I touched here. I went to this little pin. And I went over to the fourth pin on the ROM over here. And you can get really granular with zooming in 
and seeing now from the fourth pin to the CPU riser socket how long do you want to keep going and then from there to there and then you have to oops then you have to go north and there to there or sometimes you can just go like U601 end so I'll go from ROM pin 2 to U601 pin 2 and what I'll do is that and that'll test that entire long run it's about a four hour journey uh, 1018 on Omnibot and it's a lot of fun so we're working on the Titanic here we're gonna continue another day because I'm tired it's been a long I'm gonna get some rest the old noggin here when you get tired you can make mistakes so I want to come back with a fresh brain or fresher brain I don't know and get a, a better start on this um, more focused I did tape up my glasses I just put some box tape around them it works I can see but that's all I got for tonight I'll check back in tomorrow I'll probably be wearing the same shirt maybe you never know